In the gloom, the longhouse feels empty. But it is filled with the odors of rust and tar and animal fur and the snoring of dogs. It is the man named Eric who speaks, smacking scarred fingers together for emphasis, the steam of his breath tangling with the wood smoke. He fills the men's heads with legends of exploration and raiding, of a sea that eats longboats and an undiscovered country ripe for Viking occupation. He tells the Vikings that they can leave their frigid homeland and sail across the endless sea of worms to a new world brimming with wild grain and grapes and tall trees. To the Vikings, he speaks of paradise. And, of course, the grizzled Norsemen are always eager for adventure. When he asks for volunteers, men slam their weapons on tables and shout his name in the cold air. Eric the Red smiles. Much of the Viking history is recorded in oral accounts called sagas, passed down through generations. The most famous sagas are reserved for the adventures of Eric the Red and his men who crossed the mighty sea in tiny ships to forge a new Viking sovereignty. Vinland, as the new world was called, was not kind to the Vikings. Though they lacked the iron weapons of the Norsemen, the native Skraelings were fierce warriors and fought relentlessly to defend their homeland against the Norse invaders. The vastness of the North Atlantic cut off the Vikings in Newfoundland from their homeland, and they suffered many long years in trying to establish their new colony. 